let's learn about an intuitive proof of AMGM inequality. This is a concept video of Maths Olympiad and ISI CMI entrance. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Hello everyone, my name is Oshani Dashgupto. I am one of the faculty members at Chinta. Uh, what was the definition of geometric mean? We talked about it in the previous video. I'll say this again. Geometric mean of two numbers is a square root of the product of the two numbers. For the moment, we are only dealing with positive quantities. The definition of arithmetic mean of A and B, two numbers, is just the average of the two numbers. That is A plus B by 2. The arithmetic mean, geometric mean inequality says that we can compare these two quantities. In fact, the geometric mean is always less than or equal to the arithmetic mean. In the previous video, we talked about a geometric way of thinking about this inequality. This time, we will take an algebraic approach. But first, let's talk about the fundamental tool to use in this particular proof. It's a very simple idea. Positive times positive is positive. We will use this extremely simple idea to prove a sort of complicated result that is the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality. Let's see how. But first we need a lemma. A lemma is a short theorem that is needed to prove a larger theorem. So what is the lemma? Uh, the given data is this. That we have two numbers A and B which are greater than 0 and it's also given that their product is equal to 1. This is the given information. They are both greater than 0 and their product is equal to 1. <clears throat> we want to show that their sum exceeds 2 or rather greater than or equal to 2 and we will use that simple axiom to achieve this conclusion. Let's see how. First the easy case, since a times b is equal to 1, notice that if a is equal to 1 then b is definitely equal to 1, right? Then a plus b is simply 2. So if one of them is 1 then both of them are 1 and their sum has to be 2. So we will assume that none of a or b is 1 okay all right now notice that both of them cannot be less than 1 why well if both of them are less than 1 then their product will be less than 1 but we know that the product of a and b is equal to 1 right so both of them cannot be less than 1 similarly both of them cannot be larger than 1 because then their product will be larger than 1 Hence, we have this simple but very powerful conclusion that exactly 1 of A or B is less than 1 and exactly 1 of A or B is greater than 1. It's a very important conclusion and we will be using this. So without loss of generality, let's assume that A is less than 1 and B is greater than 1. Okay. Now, if A is less than 1, then clearly 1 minus A is positive, right? Similarly, if B is greater than 1, then B minus 1 is also positive. We will proceed further, but a few words about Chinta. Chinta classes consists of both one-to-one -one sessions and group classes. Advanced Maths Olympiad programs designed for extremely hardworking students, taught by Olympians, researchers and students of ISI, CMI, TIFR and universities abroad. You can go to chinta.com to know further about the community of mathematicians there. Now let's come back to 
the problem that we were working with we concluded that b minus 1 is greater than 0 and 1 minus a is greater than 0 because b was greater than 1 and a was less than 1. So we have two positive quantities now b minus 1 and 1 minus a. Now we come back to that axiom that little axiom that we talked about positive times positive is positive. Let's use that. Using that, we know that b minus 1 times 1 minus a, the product of these two positive quantities, is greater than 0. Let's multiply it out. So we have b minus 1 minus ab plus a is greater than 0, or a plus b is greater than 1 plus ab. But a times b is given to be 1, so we have the final conclusion that a plus b is greater than 2. Look at the simplicity of this. We did not use AMGM inequality. We did not use any other fancy tool of mathematics to come to this conclusion. And yet, it is done so elegantly. Elegance is a very important part of mathematics. It has to be very beautiful. Otherwise, at least to me, it's not interesting enough. All right. Stay subscribed to Chinta. In the next video, we will use this lemma to prove the AMGM inequality for n numbers. Uh, stay well and stay happy. Bye.